Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, for anyone who's a Blexiteer, they must be very aware of 15th of October, which was just the other day, or yesterday for some of you, was the deadline for Blexit. Now, this was for the Blexit negotiations, or the trade negotiations with the European Union, and they are getting very worrying, because there's been... A lot of the reports going about now saying Boris Johnson might just scrap the idea of, you know, the trade negotiation and just stopping at the deadline. Because remember back when we voted for the guy fucking in, we said to him that we wanted to leave the European Union and he said himself we would leave on the 15th of October if the EU isn't going to play nice or fair, fuck them basically and we're off. Now we're getting a lot of concerning reports coming out of the newspapers today saying that that might not even be the case. Where we might actually still be continuing the trade negotiations till the end of the month or after that, but we don't know. But we remember, we can't negotiate further than the 31st of December because that's when we officially leave the transition period. And it's took us over five fucking years to get over that as it is. And with the Express actually giving the title, Blexit Deadline Scrapped, MP caves in on the lead lines and as the EU forces through more negotiations. The EU has been not been playing nice and now they <laughs> now they think they have the balls to tell us off about the train negotiations. It's like uh, excuse me guys. Can you behave because the European Union is the best guys, you know? We're the big boss guys, we're in charge, and you little Britons can do shit, and we have to tell you what to do. I'm sorry, European Union, this isn't how this works. We are not the Theresa May government. We voted Boris in to make sure this wouldn't fucking happen, but we were always a bit wary of Boris Johnson to be going like this to be a pushover. And here's the one of the chief negotiator guys talking about it, not Michel Barnier, making out the saying, oh, we must implement an EU-British trade deal or some sort of kind that we're politically aligned. Here you go, here's the wee clip of the little shit. And we call on the UK to make the necessary moves. As we got with the withdrawal agreement and its protocols, they must be fully implemented full stop. And that's also a question of international credibility for the UK in power. And I don't think that would be happening unless it was actually the Brexit party, but we voted politically in a certain manner. So the, the centre of Brexit policy is also saying that Boris Johnson will not walk away from the Brexit negotiations tomorrow. With we'll sanction further wrangling over the free trade agreement with the European Union. That's if it works. This is if the talks with the bloc is actually going to go ahead and actually go quite well because we know the European Union is actually shitting themselves right now on how bad this could be going for them. You know, it's really funny how the British people don't seem to be that fucking worried about this, but the European countries, the manufacturers, I saw a video before the German manufacturing, is actually getting really concerned and just wanting to tell the European Union just go for a free trade deal. We're up for that, as long as you know political alignment. But that's not the actual thing that's causing them to hold back. Macron is doing an awful thing, and a few other people is doing it as well, but the main one is the fisheries. The fisheries seems to be the worst one, and honestly, fucking good, because we need our fisheries back, and we have absolutely destroyed our own fishery market in the UK. Yeah, it's not as big a fishing fleet as it used to be, but the thing is, we've allowed the European boats to take every fucking fish, you know, they want, and we say absolutely nothing to it. And I bet this is probably what the actual problem is. And I think they, well, they were actually saying people that are close to negotiations that are very close to David Frost, I believe. And it, it's it's good that most of the, if it's actually going quite well, I mean, at least they've got some sort of trade negotiation going. I think it's the numbers actually, they have 65 to 75 of the negotiation, but it's the fisheries that's holding everything back. That is the biggest Thing. 
But the thing is, the EU won't, we won't play nicely anyway because they want to play on an equal playing field. But the thing is, they want the UK to be signed up to every single registration that they have. It's like, we must make them politically aligned with all EU laws and everything. No, we did not ask that to be the case. We wanted to leave the European Union and we wanted no political alignment whatsoever. What is so fucking hard? But then again, there's more to this articles. The Express goes on saying David Frost will tell number 10 that there's a deal still there, ready to go, but they... If the agreement does actually go to a good agreement or so on, because this could be very, very ch challenging. Number 10 does actually want a good deal after all. It does want a deal, but the same with the European Union does. But I'd really just hope that we should have just fucking left. Honestly, we should have left four years ago. As soon as we got, the, they wanted the equal playing field. But the thing is, do you, they're not playing nice. They haven't been playing nice at all. And all the you skeptics, all the people that think Europe's fucking amazing. I'm sorry, you're just looking at another version of what happened 75 years ago. In a way, but not the, it's a globalist kind of version of it. And I really don't want to be part of that. And I believe a lot of Britons can see that from a fucking mile away on how bad the European Union is going. And there's also another report. Bloomberg came out with a similar report saying that the BRICS, the UK signals to continue reach a deal beyond the October 15 deadline. And as we know, it's already past the deadline. And even if the news is out there, I haven't been aware of it when I was making the, this video. And the article continues to say that they will continue negotiations with the European Union to make a good progressive future between the UK and the European Union, which will go beyond the Boris Johnson's 15th of October deadline. And basically, they've just ran down the fucking clock, haven't they? They're like, oh no, we're not do anything, and then we'll go force it in. That's what they're trying to do. They just did the same thing with Theresa May. We had absolutely no fucking information what was going on and then it was like now nah, we're gonna run it down and see what was going on but it looks like they are gonna try and make a final push to make the outro deal agreeable so it can work but the guy during negotiations doesn't want to be or the girl whoever it is wants to be identified about the situation because they don't want to you know it's secret so they don't want to be identified about what's going on but there's also a third heart trick going on here because there's a third report going out saying the exact same thing saying uh, from RTE saying that the BRICS negotiations will actually continue for another two weeks after the 15th of October deadline. But it also says in this article that London still believes the EU does not fully accept that the UK will become an independent sovereign country after Brexit. The source says, of course, this has been fucking obvious for the entire time that we have been on this negotiation about Brexit. The whole thing we have been trying to do is to point out very fucking obviously the UK wants to be a sovereign independent country of its own. It doesn't want to be tied, it doesn't want to be connected to the European Union in any political manner. We accept a free trade deal with them, but we don't want to be stuck together like they want us to, to be their little goose, like we have been trying to be for a little while now. And also the fish release this week about the French have been wanting to keep the status quo for the fish release to be the kept the exact same. These people are so fucking hypocritical, it's unreal. These people don't get that Britain wants an independent country. It will be an independent fucking country, you dumb assholes. But this is the fucking problem. They don't accept any ideology that's outside of their own bubble. This is what it looks like on a continental scale or country scale because the French just don't want to give up their fisheries. And this is just Macron trying to please everyone and still fucking it up in the way. Which is actually, funny enough, why the European Union is actually getting angry at Macron for holding the negotiations back. And apparently, the only things that seem to be holding this negotiations up back is the Discussions on fisheries, state aid, and disputes are settled in assembly of the EU to reiterate on different sectors that if there is a dispute. Fine. 
I mean, those things can be settled, but state aid, I'm, I mean, really state aid, but fisheries is probably the worst one so far, and it's getting worse and worse every day. But from the leading of those articles alone, it is actually quite considering that what could happen next could be a potential stuck in this until December, or the end of December, actually, and we could be stuck in this all the way to the end, and we shouldn't be. We should have left ages ago. We should have left the first deadline, but we didn't. We should have left the second deadline, but we didn't. But we'll see what Boris Johnston does. I hope he doesn't, because if he does somehow compromise stupidly or adds an extension, because the European Union, all it's doing is running down the clock and pushing us to the side, and it's only up to us or the leaders in charge of the Brexit negotiations, because they are 75% ready, we should just leave. On WTO terms, now we can work on a free trade deal and no connection of alliance. That's why I say, WTO, we have negotiations with 50 different fucking countries, and we've went through three good ones so far, and don't think we can't make a deal with the European Union, as long as we're not politically aligned. Thank you. And hopefully this doesn't sound so bad when I come to it the next day. Thank you and see you later. So guys, thank you for watching this video straight to the very end. So I must have done something like that you've been able to watch this piece of shit long enough. So thank you guys for watching this video right to the end. And if you want to support my channel in any other way, because we are planning to go big on this channel. We are planning to make sure that the left knows us. Make sure the cancel culture recognizes we are a threat like me and many other creators our voices are being silenced every and each day so we must make sure we stand out to the cloud and i am going to make sure my voice and freedom of speech is going to be there too and if you want to help me support this we are on youtube facebook instagram parlor and Patreon. We're also on BitChute and we also have our own website. So if you want to know any special details, make sure you click onto the Parlor app and the BitChute so we can get more content on there for the special members on those pages and you get to see more events about what I'm doing. It's going to be a lot of interesting stuff you get to see on those things. So make sure you sign up to all these different pages where you want to get to see what I'm doing and we could get a lot of interesting stuff going on here, guys. So thank you for watching this video, and see you in the next one. And remember, hail the Empire!